shift it slightly to one, one side. So I chose one spoke on one side and a different spoke on the other side. Oh, but it made the handle out. in the middle. Oh, cool. What you have to do. Now I cut these longer than they need to be. Oh, go away. It's just my sister telling me she went to see a llama or something. <laughs> a what? Did you say a llama? A alpaca, yeah. Oh. oh, they are cute. Yeah, but it's the fur, right? Yeah. So this is going to come around the basket, and it it holds the handle in because the handle's going to tuck into the weaving. You won't leave it, of course, up like that. I didn't put the handle in. No, okay. But it will be tucked in. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then more clips. <laughs> oh. And you always do the inner first. I do. Okay. Well, I, well, I go then. Then I will too. It's. In some baskets, if you do the inner one first, it pushes the basket out, which is good. The outer rim pushes the basket in. Mm -hmm. So I like to get the inner one. Mm -hmm. I do that with the Nantucket too, and I look at it to see the shape. Right. So now, the inner rim comes around. I started it on the left-hand side of the handle. I'm gonna start the outer one on the other side of the handle. And I do this with rectangles because it's balanced and they're next door to each other. When you do an Nantucket, oftentimes they're done on opposite sides. Yes. The basket. But on this one, we're gonna put one here, one here, and then start lashing just beyond them. Okay. So that those openings are the last thing that close up because with the Nantucket, you're gluing it sometimes to the rims. So yeah. Yeah. it doesn't oh, yeah. make any difference. The inner rim, as you lash it to the basket, I don't expect you to not remember all this, but it's in my directions. As you lash it to the basket, it does this. It gets tighter to the wall and slips, so it gets shorter from where you cut it. So I always leave on a basket this size about a half an inch longer than I want it to be, because then it will fit when you lash it. I also um, will trim the end of the over part so that it's rounded and looks like a pretty fingernail. Not mine, but you know, you can sand that end if you want to before you lash. The other one starts on this side, and I think I'm gonna let you get those on, and then I'll show a lashing demo, because it's too much all at once. Okay. Okay.